everybody, I'm Blitz, and this right here, oh no, this is, oh! That was my very best friend in the entire world. His name was Kevin. He's asking you to do something. There's a button right over here, this one, and that one. You have to bonk that one with your head. Just bonk it really good. Like, the like button, if you go boop, it makes everything better. And if you don't hit subscribe, if you haven't already, bad things happen. Very bad things happen to Kevin. I'd also like to thank Keeps for sponsoring this video. Now, some of you viewers may be like me. You see family members starting to lose their hair, and every time you see Uncle Carl at the family gathering, he has less and less hair on his head. And many of you know that two or three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. And speaking of prevention, Keeps treatments can take four to six months or more to see results. So it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you can save. And you don't even have to go to a doctor's office for a prescription. You can visit the online doctor through Keeps to get your hair loss medication delivered right to your home. They make it super easy and deliver your meds every three months. So if you're noticing that you're starting to lose your hair, do something about it. For a limited time, you can go to keeps.com blitz or click that link in the video description to receive 50% off your first order. And People Playground got updated, so there's all sorts of new cool things. Oh, look, <laughs> Kevin likes to go swimming. Is he still alive? I feel like he's uh, he's not alive. We can fix that. I promise. Everything. Oh, what are these? Empty nitroglycerin. <gasps> a blood flask. A flask full of human gelatin. Can't say that B word. Here, Kevin. You can do it. I promise. Everything will be all better. That one. That's. Oh, look. He's alive. He is alive. Unfortunately, some of you didn't hit that like button yet, and bad things happened when that doesn't happen. No, Kevin. No. No, that's a giant anchor. Kevin, you gonna be okay, bud? He's gonna be fine. Oh, look, a bubble. That's exciting. Also, there's a nuke underwater that I just put there. And I really want to see what happens. Oh, he's already vaporized. <gasps> Ready? Get set. Boom! Whoa! Hey, look! The anchor went into orbit. That's exciting. Hot dang. That anchor is flying through the sky. And this map itself looks really, really cool. Like, I like it a lot. There's like this big abyss down here underneath the water. Who knows if it has a bottom to it? There's also this tunnel over on this side of the world that's kind of exciting. I want to explore it. So our very best friend in the entire world, Kevin, has hired his friend, Mr. Roboto, to, uh, to, to guide us on a little adventure. Yeah, we're going to go on a little adventure and uh, figure out what's in this abyss. <laughs> How weird is this? <laughs> oh no! He's gonna get run over! You gotta walk faster, dude! You gotta walk faster! I need to give him a rocket booster. Um, Gavin? Oh, is it gonna. <laughs> Pull, little Robo Man! Pull! Pull! I need a second one. We need a second one. Forward facing Kevin says so. So, this was. It used to be one of the mods, uh, one of the things that people made. Um,. Oh, it's getting so dark in here. It's getting so dark. Uh oh, he's gonna get run over. We need to we need to fix this. I feel like there's two ways. Either we could put an industrial sized generator in here and hook it up to this one, which might not be too exciting. We'll try it though. Yeah, that <laughs> that's gonna make everything brighter. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't burn our our little thing down. That'd be sad. I spent a long time making this. Uh, speaking of that, this used to be. A, uh, a mod that somebody else made, um, but it didn't work with this update, so I just made my own. I thought it'd be cool. Yeah, we need to do something different. Goodbye, generator. And hello, lightning helmets. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's a, it, I'm actually kind of surprised how cool this is. Time to walk. Go, my minions. Go, little androids. Go explore the depths. I wonder if there's anything in here. Is there anything in here? I might have put something in here that's hiding. Also, there's a, a mini nuke uh, underneath our, our thing, just in case something bad happens. And this is cool. Like, this might be the funnest thing I've built in a while. I'm also very simple like that. Like, I built four things. This might be one of the best of them. <laughs> Go, little guys. Get, stop with your legs getting cut and stuff. Must walk faster. Must walk faster. Also, uh, because it's getting dark again, we should turn on the headlight brighteners. Yes! Yes! I put industrial generators on their back so they could be super bright. And they could see super far. And maybe there's something super scary hiding in the darkness. Hopefully they don't light on fire either. They're starting to get a little unstable. Turn the lights off! All better now. There you go. Lights on again! <laughs> so dumb. I love dumb things. Oh! Oh! What's happening? What's happening? There they are! Oh! The gorses have arrived! They're actually not doing anything. They need to move. Gorses, 
move, do do things, walk, stumble, stumble. Oh no, they're attacking! The gorses are attacking! They're making it through. Good thing they're androids and not real people. They aren't even taking damage. Did they kill them? I think there's some, uh oh. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> they're slipping on the slime on the ground. They can't move anymore. We're being overwhelmed by the gorses. It was a trap. Time to detonate the nuke. Ready? No. <laughs> Slow it down. Detonate. Okay, that was exciting. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> that was a fun. I like that. I also thought I saved it. There's the human powered car from before. It doesn't work anymore. It says it's corrupted. Oh, but there it is. The darkness explorer. Um, if you guys want to play with that, you can go ahead and use that. It is a, I guess, fun vehicle. <laughs> it's also a trash thumbnail but whatever. Now there is this one. It's called the Abyss Explorer. It's also incompatible, maybe. I wanted to see what this does. Ooh, look, we can put people in there. Maybe we'll put androids. Should we put people in? I feel like people would be a good idea. There it goes. So this is supposed to go down underwater and stuff. Maybe not underwater, but we'll test it. It is. It's gonna go explore the Abyss. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. They really don't like being underwater like that, do they? Um, oh, why is it shooting? <laughs> what? Because they're hitting the button. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just, maybe we'll just delete them. And we'll go explore the depths. Oh, no, you know what? Better idea. We will simulate. There we go. There, we, we'll put in like three of them so it sinks real good. So this map, um, it's a little bit, a little bit large. <laughs> I had no idea. Let's go simulate farther depths. Beep. Oh, it sounds really creepy down here. Doesn't it? Like, and it's like super deep. Just kidding. I haven't even gone down yet. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Evidently there is a bottom to the abyss. And oh, well that happened. Let's put another one in here. There, I found the bottom of the abyss. Go people. Oh no, they're trying to escape. That'd be a long way to float up. And the colors down here are so cool. Look at that. The bottom of the deep, dirty, weird lake. I love it. Now there is something unique. I don't really know what it does. But this is the new, or the old abyss map. The one that you're actually supposed to drop that guy down. Put a couple of people in here and then they just go way down and explore. But check this out over here. Way on this side. There's something hanging out right here. I don't even know what this does. Like you can push buttons here and then enter. And it checks something. Incorrect. Not the first time anyone's told me I'm incorrect. What happens if I hook it up to, say, an industrial sized generator? Yeah, and we'll just connect the wire to it and turn it on. Doesn't do anything. Does it have a pulse? We should test if everything has a pulse. Oh no, <laughs> the power has a pulse. Are you pulsing? Um, why don't you, hey, would you stop? I'm trying to play a game, okay. If I turn you on, connect wire blood vessel wire. No, it doesn't have a pulse. Can I blow it up with a new physics gun? That's the real question. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Oh, ooh, ooh, this could be exciting. Hey, hey, do the thing where you go zoom. <laughs> That's awesome. I need one of those in real life. How are our explorers doing? Not very well. So let's weight it down with six tons and then we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a little better. Oh, five tons. We don't need that one. Yay, <laughs> it's falling apart. Oh, that's hilarious. It's traveling so much faster now. It gets real weird down here though, real weird. Even just the sounds, super creepy. Almost reminds me of being underwater in Subnautica. Oh, except for that one. That doesn't sound like underwater Subnautica. Can you imagine a Reaper Leviathan popping out and just eating them? Unfortunately, we don't have Reaper Leviathans in this game, but we do have nuclear missiles. Yeah, and we're gonna launch this up to space. <laughs> oh, there's a bottom to the abyss too. It's not really an abyss if there's a bottom, is there? I should launch a rocket out of here. Yes, we should launch rockets and activate. Ooh, it works. Oh, that's really cool. Rocket out of the abyss. Go! It's so dark in here. It is so stupidly dark at the bottom of the abyss. But it does look like a giant missile silo, doesn't it? Yes! We have reached the ceiling. 
That was fun. So does anybody remember that game we used to play? Uh, it was a game called Happy Room. You know, the one where you build contraptions that humans went down? Not humans, let's be honest. They were crash test dummies. And they had green, like, goo that came out of them. Well, that's what this is. Somebody made, um, this. Yeah, they made this in, uh, People Playground. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm a little bit concerned about it. So what do you say, front-facing Kevin? Do you want to stare at us as you go down this contraption? I bet you do. I feel bad for him. I don't know why. But something is not gonna- oh. He's just staring at us. Staring blankly into our hearts. Oh, I feel bad because I know what's about to happen to him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's hiding now. Okay, okay. S is he alive still? Nope, he's not. But uh, he is now. <laughs> he got healed. Oh, he's going to avoid him. Oh, he didn't avoid it. He didn't avoid it. Oh, no. Oh, my word. Hey, look. He got healed again, only to go through the giant worm tentacles. Ah, oh, nice. Time to get healed for a third time so you can go right into this device. Oh, he's trying to run away, and he's still looking at us. Oh! Oh, he, he got hit. I don't know which ones these are. I don't know. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Okay! Um, wow. He's, um, I don't know if he's gonna make it through this in one piece. He might. Oh, he just started on fire and then went out of fire immediately. Because there's a fire extinguisher pointed right at him. And now, now he just got stuck. Which is very much what happens in Happy Room. Alright. So let's see what happens if we go on this side instead. <laughs> He's not excited about this. He couldn't remember that. He's just laying down. He decided not to fight this time. Yeah, I'm splat. I think he's going to make it through this next one pretty good. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, because he's just unconscious. Oh, you didn't even get hit. Yes. Okay, now he's not unconscious anymore because he got... Oh, okay. Big hammers. Big hammers. Boom. <laughs> oh, knocked him out. Knocked him out. Why are only some of these firing? I feel like all of them need to be on and off. Okay. Well, you know what? It's like a massage. He's just getting a massage. And he didn't get healed up. Oh, no. Oh, his foot stuck. Here, we'll help you, Kevin, friend. We'll help you. Okay, okay. Redo, redo, do over. What are those things? And why are they blasting this crash test dummy into pieces? Is this going backwards? Oh, well, <laughs> we just decided to go on the other side. That's okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, these are chainsaws. Are they active? Here, we'll just test from here. They are because I turned them off. Yeah. I think the newest update kind of messed with this thing. It was built in one of the older updates. <laughs> what an interesting thing. I love it. I mean, I hate it, but I love it. Speaking of loving and hating things, we have to do something. We have to. This update brought all sorts of fun things. Okay. Yeah. This way, he doesn't know. It'll be safer this way. We'll just lay him down. We'll duct tape him to the bed. I'm pretty sure this is duct tape. Like, it, it looks just like duct tape, in my opinion. Good. It's great. We just have to hook up a wire to him. I'm guessing a blood vessel wire. Yeah, he still has a heartbeat, so we got that going for us. But there are these new things. Flask. It's made out of indestructible divine substance that the creators call polymethylethocryolot. Think. I don't really... Polymethylmethacryolot. <laughs> sure. I don't know what it does. But I'm wondering if I, like, do this. Oh. Huh. Okay. That's that's a good sign. So what happens if I just drain drain this out? Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to drain the Kool-Aid out of here. It's cherry Kool-Aid, if you were wondering. There's nothing else in it. And then if I conduct this, the Kool-Aid wire, to here. Oh, it does. It pulls. Oh. He's not a huge. He just woke up. He's not a huge fan of this system. He doesn't like it. But I have a different idea. <laughs> Nitrocrystalline flask. Flat for that word. And then we'll we'll go to push and we'll pull. And we'll fill this up with nitroglycerin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we will. You better believe we will. A whole buttload of it. All right. You know what? Uh, you can drain that out. We don't really need it. He's got one beat. Oh, no. Oh, he's still alive somehow with one beat per minute. All right, all right. So let's do let's do a little push. We're gonna push that back and delete these and drain push. All right. So we're gonna replace his Kool-Aid with nitroglycerin. 
Oh, this is working too. Oh, wow. It's kind of an orangey substance. I feel like if we if we just continue to continue this process, it'll get less and less orangey and more and more yellowy. I think my phone's ringing. Nope, <laughs> that's totally not the phone. Oh no, I wanted him to stay in the in the alive part of the world. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> do not ingest oil. Okay, what happens if I do this? Into here. It's transferring. He had a heartbeat again. What? He had a heartbeat. Uh oh. Oh no. That didn't quite work right. Oh, he's he's being he's being eaten up. I'm guessing gorse juice is the same as flesh-eating bacteria. Okay, <laughs> that's a good good test. He didn't do that with the other one. Out. Oh. Alrighty, so round two. <laughs> it's okay, he volunteered. Quick, get the duct tape out again. The volunteer's unconscious. Alright, so let's try this. We are going to pull it out of his leg and push it back into his chest. Yes. Yes. I think. We're gonna try to. It's not draining. Heartbeat's still good. Oh, it is draining now. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, that one's full, so we're gonna switch over to here, delete that one, and then we're gonna drain this guy. There we go. Ooh, that drains really fast. Heartbeat's having a few problems. I think he'll be okay, though. I think he'll be just fine. Nine, eight. He's still, it's still beating. It's still beating. This is good. He just needs to wake up now. Can we wake him up? Is there a wake up one? Heals about anything. Uh huh, uh huh. Ultra strength. Yeah, this will be good, right here. And then we'll go, uh-oh, ready, wake up. Nope, adrenaline, we totally need the adrenaline. Adrenaline, Kevin, wake up. He has a heartbeat, half of his half of his body's filled with nitroglycerin. Do we need more? Do you need more in there, dude? Oh, he's rising, he's awake, he's awake. He just needed more nitroglycerin in his bloodstream. Oh my, <laughs> um, okay then, uh-oh. Uh-oh. He just got knocked out again. I don't know why. Oh! Oh! He's, he's, he's alive! He's alive! Okay, okay, bud. I get the picture. I get the picture. We can get you out of here. We'll just, you know, take the ceiling off. You're that excited. I don't even know what we're gonna do with you. I was gonna use the, uh... Oh! <laughs> he has two entire vials of nitroglycerin in his bloodstream. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna save you as explosive men. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but I have a feeling because nitroglycerin is really explosive and that is not nearly that color. So there is some in his bloodstream. So we have to do some tests. Some very good tests. Let's see what happens if he gets hit with a car. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay. Something, something's not going right with this picture. <laughs> there's there's weird stuff happening here. Here's a question. What happens if I drop one from high distance? No! <laughs> Yay! Oh, crash test dummies. I love you so much. What's he doing? Oh, he got hit. He got hit with that. Can I make an explosive zombie? Boop! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, that's fantastic. There's something seriously wrong with this game, and I love every minute of it. Okay, you know what I can do? I can fix him. I have the technology. Would you not? Would you stop dancing, bro? I promise it'll be all over real soon. Uh-huh. And, oh, no. I missed. We'll free that in space, and then I'll go like this. Would you come back here? Oh! I hit his leg. I wasn't trying to do that. And there's just parts of him are spontaneously combusting. Okay, that should do the trick. The green goo happened. I have to put in a regular human. Oh yes, he is getting zombified. And now we will like, save you as the explosive zombie. There's something very terrifying about this. There's only one thing to do. And that's to uh, run him over with a bus. <laughs> oh yes, oh no. Oh, the poor driver, he would have made it out alive. What happens if explosive humans meet explosive zombies? They just kind of love each other, I think. 
Also, the humans forgot how to walk. So I might as well use one of these things. Oh, I forgot how to use this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they're on fire. <laughs> um, um, boom. Oh, that did work. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> explosive humans are my explosive zombies are my new favorite thing. Uh oh, something's not going to go well with this. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> it was going so well. Here. We need more explosive humans. <laughs> the, our poor, oh my word. <laughs> All right, so non-explosive Kevin has one more test. One more test. Can he and his crew survive against countless amounts of explosive zombies? I hope he can. I think the other question is, is can the zombie horde survive against themselves? <laughs> Let's delete those. We'll just duplicate these and make it even better. Also, this is a really, really, really old creation in the workshop. It's still really cool though. And this is a mini nuke inside of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, none. I don't even know what some of these things used to do. So if I activate this one, it should start to drive. Good, it's working. Okay, we have the nuke. So we'll fire the nuke. Whoa, whoa, it took out a few of them. That was good. Actually, it took out most of them. Oh man, shrapnel's hitting them. Are they gonna make it? Oh, <laughs> limbs, oh, oh my. Oh, that was so cool. There's like a chain reaction going. They're on fire now. Wow. Those things are so stupidly explosive. Oh, we got explosions happening. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it, uh, it blew up inside. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> anyway, that's People Playground. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank Ben, Alan Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Zarnoff, Noah Collingwood, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Paul Longstone, and Ralph, as well as the rest of the Patreon supporters and everyone who has clicked that join button down below and become a channel member.